I have a 3D printer, I wanted to print Legos, so I went Thingiverse, download some stuff, print them out, and guess what, they didn't work. So I went back, opened my laptop, and started sketching. So in this video, I want to show you how to 3D print Lego beams on any 3D printer, and I will show you the program that I made to help me to design customized Lego beams. print Lego parts, we should be able to reproduce Lego parts in a precision of micrometers, so we can use them with other original Lego pieces. So as we know, 3D printing, as all manufacturing process, have some error marge. It is related and specific for every printer, and it depends on the tension of the belts, each individual, individual motor, the age of the printer and a lot of other parameters and we shouldn't forget all the parameters that we put in the slicer to, to make the 3D print so that all affect our prints that's why I cannot give you an STL file to print it on any printer and guarantee that you will have a perfect Lego piece but I have a solution for you. So what I did, I went to Fusion 360 and draw a Lego beam with three holes, print it out and try it with my original Lego pin. Obviously it didn't work. So I went back to Fusion, start playing with the part dimension until I had the perfect grip between the pin and the printed beams. So now I have the perfect dimension for my 3D printer to print perfect Lego beams. That's why I can print longer beams. But wait a minute, if I want 5 hole Lego beam, I have to re-sketch everything. And if you know me well, I don't like to repeat stuff that I already did. That's why I built robot in the first place. That's why I went back and I built an API program on Fusion 360 to help me build the 3D, like the 3D model of Lego beams. So basically, I put the parameters here, I specify the number of holes in the beam, and I hit run, and here I have my piece. You might ask me, why 3D printing Lego beams as we can buy them? Well, first, because, because we, we can. can. <laughs> and second, what about 3D printing not standardized Lego beams, like double number hole beams number, like a beams longer than 15 hole, like 20 hole or 25 hole or 35 hole, like this. And what about flexical beams, like, or multicolor beams? I don't know. So, to recap what you have to do. First, make your part on Fusion, download it as an STL, and go to your slicer, slice it up. And don't ever change the parameter of the slicer. Fix it, like save a profile for it. Like make a Lego beam printing profile and fix that. Second, go to your printer, level the bed like a hundred times and make it in a way that the first layer wouldn't be so sticky to the bed, like it will be stick but not smashed to the bed. Go ahead and print three holes beam with a parameter that I put in my program. Did that work with you? Very well. If they didn't work, go back to Fusion 360 change the parameters until you have the perfect grip and then and only then you can print customized lego parts and here you have it how to master print lego beam i will put in the description the api program that i made on fusion 360 if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe also to my 
Facebook page and an Instagram page. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. So I finished printing and that's the end result. Like it's so steady. It's even even better than the normal Legos. Like it's hey that okay. Well now it's closed. So that's for the result. The longest Lego beams ever made 3D printed.